I might have found the hubby some more uh, Fast and Furious cars too. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't need to do that. <laughs> oh, no, it's all good. Okay. There we go. I've never done this from the house before, so. So Pamela Connect is Pam. Just so Correct. You know. So I just added her. Okay. You've got to mute yourself. Yep. You're just YouTube. Did it. Okay, yep. great. Okay, because I don't have StreamYard open on that computer. Okay, so we'll get underway in just a few minutes, everybody. We're going to let people come into the room. I'm just sharing over to my Facebook. And then we will be underway. I'm kind of doing everything today because we are snowed in. It is sleeting right now. And we probably have about uh, uh, 10 inches so far, maybe a foot. It's more than I want. At this point, any snow is more than I want. Did you wrench Pamela? Yes. Okay. Pamela is wrenched. -ed. Pam, make another comment so that I can see that you're wrenched. Yep. How are you seeing it on your end? Yes. Hi, Pepe. Okay. Yeah, I don't even see it. It's funny. Okay. Switch over to live chat. There we go. You guys hit that like like button while we're waiting for this this to get all straightened out, please. Yeah, and if it's wobbly, I'm on my kitchen table, so it is not a commercial based table like we normally use. And obviously I've got to get the camera angles set up because our clamp is broken. Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> I should have had my socks lined up, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm much more calm when I'm by myself. It's, it's not so bad. And it's hard to let them know when you grab my butt from there. I know. It is very it's hard. Go, go, gadget arms. She's got parts longer than mine, so I get jealous. <laughs> shot. Shot, shot. Over the bow. Nikki said it's an 80s in Florida. What? I don't Must even nice. want to hear it. Hi, Sandy Dorsey. Hello, Joe. Hello, Sizzy Q. Yeah, it's it's not nice outside today. <laughs> After the auction, I'm going to go out and plow some more. Um, but wanted to give everybody a chance to get in. I know we had a couple people send in registrations. If you sent in a registration and you need a wrench, please just make a comment that you sent a registration. I can check it here on my end. As you can see, the nifty little, let me see, right here. Nifty little computer, taking up part of my table space. And I get this out of the way. Put it over here on this giant box of postcards for you guys. Yeah, well, it was sleeting when I went out to take the stuff out of the car for the auction. Now it doesn't look like it's doing anything, so maybe it stopped. But they said it might go till one o'clock tomorrow. So is Nikki's comment the last comment that you can see? I can see two after Nikki. Okay. So we are a little slow. I'm going to refresh my. Let me 
screen and then we're going to get underway. I do have to say that YouTube is acting a little bit funny because I keep having to refresh the live chat in YouTube. Right. That's what I was going to say. That's what I'm looking at it in, in YouTube, not in StreamYard, because I don't have StreamYard up on my computer. Right, right. So, North Carolina, Tar Heel picker in the house. Hello, Tar Heel. Okay, guys, we have 60 people here, so we're going to get started. First lot is 50 comic books. I went ahead and counted them out, so I didn't have to do that on camera. Um, this is one of the boxes from that load that I just bought. This is a little bit newer than most of what's in that that stuff um <clears throat> but condition is pretty much unread and everything else shipping is included so you don't have to worry about excess shipping i'll give you guys an idea of what's here and it's hard for me to slide this on the table so i'm gonna move it towards me and then show you guys stuff that way okay lord lloyd lou lloyd llewellyn okay number one kind of an underground Fantagraphics comic. And then we get into a bunch of Dark Knight, like some Batman Legends of Dark Knight, and there's multiple copies, but they are all bagged and boarded in minty, minty, minty condition on red. So there's 71, 70, and they are kind of in order, 69, 64, and then you get into Knight's End. And sorry for the makeshift setup today, guys, but my wife said I'm not allowed to take and drop the truck and drive over to the warehouse. She said no. But I also did talk to Auctions for UT this morning. Um, she is doing much better, and she's hoping to get to go home this evening, but we're trying to get her to stay there an extra day so that she rest and relax. And then because Donna is away at a volleyball tournament, T and I are probably going to do auctions on Saturday and Sunday to help her make up for the days she lost. And for me to give her some company so that she can you know, have a little bit of time. She's going to try not to do them from the storage unit. She's going to do them for her house. Batman Legends of the Dark Knight. I'm sure one of you guys I, know that if this is true, there might be another Batman movie coming out soon. Have Jeffrey at 30. Okay. And we have registration sent for the Uncle Tubby. Yep, we have him. So I can give him a wrench. Okay, Tommy Sharp. Let me find him. Yeah, it is not refreshing for me at all. Just really No, I have it on my phone. I'm watching the chat from my phone and typing on my computer. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, because it's... Hey, Pat D's. So, Uncle Tubby, you are registered. You are welcome to bid. Um, I'll give you a wrench as soon as your comment actually pops up on my screen, but the last comment I see on my screen is Kyle Elliott. Okay. My live chat is frozen. Follow top top chat for now. So I showed you guys the first half. If your chat is frozen, you can always press live chat. It'll advance it immediately. And I will call out the bids if you don't see them. So at this point, high bid is Dragon Smoke at 32. I have Andrew Campbell, but I'm still not seeing the last comment I see is Dragon Smoke. Oh, there's Uncle Tubby. Okay. Got you. You are now wrenched, so you are able to bid. So another Dark Knight. Yeah, there's a bunch of these that feature like Ezekiel on them. And like I said, these are pretty much unread conditions. I get Andrew in at 34. Then I've got Greg at 40. Okay. Thanks, Pat D's. Pat D's. Okay. 
Pat, are you getting 42. more snows than uh, are you getting more snow than us, Pat? To your face on the cover, that's cool. It's a really neat cover too. I love like the background, the black and white background with a color Batman. I have fifty dollars from Jeff. I need fifty-five now. Greg is fifty-five. These guys remind me. Those slow balls kick your ass. Those slow balls kick your face. Those slow balls kick your balls into outer space. <laughs> okay. Come on, didn't you ever see Short Circuit? Yeah, but that just came out of nowhere for me. It was funny. I, it's, it's it's because these guys, they remind me of that. Like, like the outsiders or, or those guys. So we have, hi, Michael Whelan. Yeah, I think we're at about a foot. That's what, about what we have. I know that everybody's chat is screwed up. I'm actually watching my chat on my phone and typing on my computer. Um, the only thing I can do is tell you what the bids are. I've got Greg at 65. Okay. Jeffrey's out. Andrew's out. Jim, do you want to come in at 70? Now, see that part I remember. Johnny Five alive. <laughs> Johnny Five is alive. <laughs> yes, I was a lonely child. Okay, made up my papers. And Pam, I know you're watching this from home. I also have papers and everything here just in case. Yeah, it's it must be something to do with YouTube because if a lot of people are having the same issue. Yeah, if you go to your button, you can click live and then top and then live again and you won't have to do anything else. And again, anybody else who has sent in registrations and there was a bunch of people that we got overnight that I guess just were delayed in the emails coming through. Just comment for me, registration sent. I can check it from my end. I have it open, and I will happily give you your wrench. Thanks, Greg. Greg is out. Okay, and Babette, if you're Perkins. here, yep, if you're here, just uh, make a comment, and I can give you a wrench as well. Hi, Mark. Hi, Jade. Disassemble. <laughs> so we have Jim in at 70, looking for 75. And like I said, there's a total of 50 books. Most all of them are Dark Knight, Legends of the Dark Knight. You know, a bunch of different series, you know, Faces, Shaman, Destiny, um, the Ezekiel line, swords line. Babette just commented. Okay. And we're Let going me. to be going once. Hey, KK. Okay, Babette, you have a wrench, so you were able to bid now. Anybody else who's who's watching but not wrenched, just send me a registration and then come in and say registration sent. I can give you a wrench. The wrench is good as long as you're subscribed to the channel and it will allow you to bid in our auctions. And then here is another one. This is the only other oddball in the slot. Lloyd Lou Ellen. Kind of an undergroundish type comic, and it is issue number one. Hi, Jill. 
I do know Jill is going to be having an auction this weekend. Jill, if you want to drop your link and your time, feel free. And T and I are possibly doing one Saturday and Sunday evening. So Saturday during the day and one Sunday evening. So, so, and so. We will let you guys know when those are whenever T lets me know. It's, it's based on her schedule. Congrats, okay. Jim. So we have Jim Dodge? Yes. Okay. At 70? Yes. Okay. Congratulations, Jim. I'll move this over here out of the way. Kathy said she's having an auction tonight. May she drop her link? Absolutely. And T said she'll drop them shortly. Okay. Look, I just do what T tells me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jill just dropped hers. Her and Julie Morris are going to be having an auction. So lots Little of Birdie auctions this weekend. I might be there. Oh, nice. Okay, so here's the second lot of comics. Now we get into a little older stuff in here, which is nice. But this is a really cool issue. It's issue number zero. There's 50 books in this lot. This is the annual. Oh, my wife wants to make my doggy famous. She, you can't see her. Hi, Snapper. You gotta put her down. I'm like you have her holding her too high. Don't let her walk in the comments. I'm not letting her walk in the comments. Hey, yo. <laughs> okay. Hey, <now. laughs> So you have the Batman, Legends of Dark Knight. You can't see her in the camera. Oh, come on. Give us a shot. You have Adam Strange, issue number five. Another Adam Strange, issue five. I have a bid on the doggy. <laughs> Adam Strange, issue three. Yep. Honey, they're bidding on the dog. Hey, no. Adam Strange, issue number three. <laughs> but, you know. Adam Strange, issue number two. Guys can bid for another dog, you know what I'm saying? Nope. Adam Strange <laughs> number two. And then here's the first issue. Turn of Adam Strange, issue number one. So that's a nice little run, and I think there's two of each one. But then we get into and these books are beautiful condition. Yeah. A Batman number three thirty seven. And there's fifty books in the slot, ten dollar start that is shipped to your door. Shipping is included. Batman number 334. Sounds really cool. Batman number 326. We'll get into Dark Knight Collector Special issue number one. Another Dark Knight Zero. This is the annual of the Else World. Number four. Bloodlines. There's so many new characters coming out in movies and TV shows that it's hard to I've keep track of which ones are which. Jeffrey at 50, everybody. So we're going to have to go in $5 increments now. So this is very cool. This is the Untold Legend of Batman. This is issue number one. It's a 40 cent cover. And if you look at condition, the only ding I see on it is that bottom edge right there. But otherwise than that, this book is, is readable. Until Legend of Batman number three. Then you got Batman Ghost. I just like this cover. Got Jim it reminds 16. me of the Horned King. Here's Adam Strange number seven. Adam Strange number seven. Adam Strange number six, and then we get back into another older Batman, number 340. Again, high grade, 337, another issue of that. This is a duplicate of 326. This was back stock from a store that this guy had bought out. Batman 350. 
Batman 376, Batman 372, Batman 393, Batman 387. And if there's a specific one that they want me to go back to, just make sure to let me know. 384. Another issue of 384. Like I said, these are all high grade condition. 378 with the Mad Hatter. Number 402. This is like Batman's version of Fight Club. Need a hundred dollar increments now. I've got OTG at a hundred. Yeah, hundred dollar increments. I'm in. For yeah, that. that's it. Yeah, no, I meant ten dollar <laughs> increments. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> Number four hundred three. I've got Greg at one forty. Number four eleven. First appearance of Magpie. Number four hundred one. Number three forty seven. I mean, like, these books are just so plain. If I only had an extra hundred grand to send all these books off to get them graded. Here's Man Bad is Back. This is issue 342. Here's issue 365. Some really cool covers. 395. This is what happens whenever I tell Pam I bought more stuff. I'm Batman, and I bought more stuff. Click. <laughs> <laughs> Number 385. Another issue of 385. This one's really cool. 377 for Nocturna. Another of 377. Mime, 412. And last but not least, another issue of 412. Again, you can see like how clean these books are. Once you're done explaining that last book, I need you to check some registrations. I've got um, quite a few that I think might be wanting to come in on this lot. Okay. So let's go through registrations. Please. I've got Once Twice Gone at 200, looking for 210 or outs. Okay, Tom Miller, we have you. Okay, Tom, you are wrenched. You were able to bid. Uh, Hella Buff David. Chips. Yep, oh, we David have. David as well. Yep. Add moderator. Okay, let me scroll up to see. There you yes, go, Buff David. Chicks. David was the other one. Okay, yep, so all three of them now are wrenched. The registrations are all in. You guys are all welcome to bid and participate in the auctions. Welcome to the crazy farm. I mean, the, the fun. <laughs> we do apologize if you do get insulted by adult and a window. I'm a very bad joker. So my jokes are not very good, but they are full of adult and a window. Pamela is in the chat as Pamela, and we have Andrew at 210. Anybody else? Some great books in the slot. Got Greg at 220. Hey, Janine. Janine. You know, if Janine had a son and named him Ash, he would be Ash Ketchum from Pikachu. <laughs> he did not. I did. <laughs> I got little shit at 240. <laughs> so we have 240 with Chris. Hi, Anthony. Amber, we did get you together more of the crochet books and stuff like that. So I will invoice you whenever I invoice this week's auctions, either tonight or tomorrow. Andrew's at 250. 
yeah, Maroney's not here right now, but the other day he sent me a message. He's like, I can't believe I got that lot so cheap. There was like three first appearances in there. And I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah. I was like, I think I accidentally sent that lot to somebody else. Oh, I didn't uh, obviously. obviously. I haven't even invoiced for it, but <laughs> I was just messing with him. I got Chris at 260. It's hilarious, like how hot this market is. The the comic market. Hi, Pickers Warehouse. I went into his auction last night. He had some really cool stuff for sale. Some purses, but they didn't match my outfits. He had two nice Chanel purses and uh, a couple Louis Vuittons. Mm. Okay, we have Andrew at 270. Chris is out. And Greg is out. Is there anybody else? Okay, so we're going to call it down. We're at 270 on this lot. Yeah, it's funny, even though my uh, my jokes are bad, Pam still laughs at some of them. I think she does it just to keep me, you know, to humor me, but it still counts. Hey, you gotta take what you can get, right? That's right. <laughs> I, tell, I tell my wife that all the time. She's like, okay, when are you going to start? And I'm like, start, I'm done. You should take what you can get. <laughs> No, I, I didn't mean for you to go all that. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Congrats, Andrew. Okay, so we got Andrew as the winner? Yes, 270. Okay, okay. 270 to Andrew. Drink, it's Friday. We don't have to worry about what day it is. We drink all the time. It's not Friday. It's late Thursday. Oh, Who said see? That? Amber, ooh, I crochet. Well, it did have a question mark. Apparently, Friday. Amber's Amber's already drinking. It's okay. <laughs> she pre-gamed. Pre-game. That's what we should all do. Okay, so let me grab a tray, and then let's do a stop and drop, guys. We had some people ask for this yesterday uh, after we sold a $1,000 lot of postcards. They're like, uh, can you bring back the stop and drop? It's cheaper. So we're going to. So what a stop and drop is, guys, for those of you who are new here, is I'm literally going to fill, throw stuff down in this tray. When you are happy with what you see at $100, you say stop. The first person to say stop is the winner. Now, understand with the issues going on with YouTube, this might be a little more difficult than normal, but whoever has the first comment in the live chat that says stop is the winner. So this is Fitchburg Mass Miniature Postcards in color. Janine says they were talking about the stop and drop in other chats last night. Ah. I'm telling you, it's, it's going to happen. And then everybody's just got to say, we learned this from Mr. Buys a lot. And we thought it was a great idea because it allows us to get through a bunch of stuff once everybody catches on to it. And every now and then, like, you know, I may throw down a $100 postcard. And if right. somebody knows it, they're going to say stop. And then I don't hear you guys say stop for 30 seconds. So I'm still adding stuff in there. 1945. Look at how much stuff is written on this one. Holy moly. I would have felt like I was being punished if I wrote that much. So I'm just going to count for you guys as I'm throwing them in the tray. And then as soon as Mama G tells me somebody says stop, that person is the winner at $100. And that includes the shipping. So that's six. I'm only counting that pack of like 12 as one. So that was six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So that's cool. 12. 13, 
14. Some are used and some are not. 15, 16, 17. Zora said this stresses 18, me out. <laughs> 19, 20, 21. 22, 23. Don't ever get stressed out. This is for fun. 24. In all fairness, Brian stole the idea from Facebook auctions. 25. I've been doing this on Facebook for a couple of years. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. You guys, make sure you have it written in your tab to send. 36, 37. These seem to be Michigan, 38. And then here's a real photo, one of a steamship, 39, 40. And they date from about 1900 to about 1960, I think is the newest ones I saw. What was that 41, I think. Not I'm undercounting, 42. 43, 44, 45, 46. I'm going to speed it up. 47, 48, 49. Cool old cars. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. 55, 56, 57, 58. Oh, sorry. That one's really pretty. It's gold bordered. 58. And that one's 1907. 59, 60, 61. I don't count the extra little stuff that goes in there. You want, this counts as one. It's a bunch, though. It's like a dozen. So 62. Oh, it's actually 20. 63. This one's fully embossed, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. These are a little newer. 84, 85. Then we get back to the old ones. 86, 87, 88. This is one of those fold out ones that have like 12 plus cards in it with the Indians. 89. This one's super cute. Hold to light. Also, this is a hold to light postcard. And Melons Foods. So it's a trade card, but a hold to light one. So it's number 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, that one's cool, 110, 111, 112, Stop. 13. Okay, so 113 postcards in this lot. I have Jeffrey Stevens saying stop. <laughs> okay. Jeffrey Stevens. Sorry, Mr. Hot Wheels. You were just a second too late. Postcards. 100. Jeffrey Stevens, right? Yes. Okay. Don't worry, Mr. Hot Wheels, you'll get another chance. Oh, does that mean we're going to do that again? 
It does. <laughs> Hi, Gary. Swanky. West Side Gary? Yep. What's up, Gary? Okay, guys, another stop and drop postcard lot. $100 is the price. You say stop, you get whatever's dropped. Tom, it's Two. always free shipping. Three. Yep. Four. Five. Six. I like the ones with the old cars. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. What's this one? Oh, this is a Salem. Look at all the Halloween stuff. This is from Salem, Massachusetts. Where they were selling like in a gift store. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. These are those ones I was telling you about, like the portfolio ones. So, But I only count this as one. So it's number 25, 26. Turn around here to the magic box. 27. 28, 29, these are Leninette, 30, 31, so it looks like we're in New York now, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, oh, the old cars in the buildings, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, ooh, this one's cute, 45, Central Park, the donkeys, 46, 1903 on this one, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 1914, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, Yonker. I don't hear you very well. Brian, you muted yourself. Your microphone's muted on StreamYard. Okay, it's unmuted now, but I can't hear you. 74. There you go. It's a little better. Did you get a call and you need to? It's you're like in a tunnel underwater. 75, 76, 7, 8, 79, 80. Can you hear me, Monty? It's going in and out pretty bad. Hang on, guys. I, fix this. I think the stream yard might have bumped yep. you back. So check and make sure that you're on the right. Oh, yeah. Get default. For some odd reason, the Bluetooth went out. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I just have it set on default. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Okay. 
He needs Pam there. Oh my goodness, Janine. <laughs> yeah. No, now it's worse again. I can't hear you now. Uh, now I can hear you. Yep, okay. there you go. There go. Okay, so we're at 89. 90, 89. 91. 92. 93. 94. 95. 96. 97. 98. It says New York. 99. 100, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is inside of some diner. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is another one of those packs that has a bunch in it. So that's 110. 111. Stop. Okay. Jeffrey Stevens. Okay. Congratulations, Jeffrey. And then we have someone else who we need to check a uh, registration for Gary Thomas and Tommy Sharp. Okay. Tommy Sharp is good. Okay. Let me write this down quick. Mm-hmm. Those cards. Okay. Congratulations, Jeffrey. And I will wrench some people and check on others. My chat here. So. When we do the stop okay. and drop, yes, Chase, it is for the 100 when he says that. Um, if not, everything will be in the auction. Yeah, no, that's just for the stop and drops, which I mix those into the auction itself, just kind of as a bonus. Okay, so we are having an issue with Gary Thompson. Gary, are you sending it to Mr. Buysalot795 at gmail.com? And if you are, make sure there's no capitalization and there's no period between the MR and the buys a lot. But I have yours, Gary. Yours came through. I got yours. You're good. So, Gary Thompson, you're registered. You're able to bid. Uh, Dan Egan, if you're in here, just make a comment so that I know you're in. And no problem, Joey. And Cheryl Hicks, if you're in here, just make a comment so that I can register you as well. And for everybody okay. that hasn't hit the like button, do that real quick. Okay, next lot, we're gonna do another lot of comics. because so I have those on top of the old photos. We do have some 1800s photographs coming very shortly. I only brought home easier stuff because of having to bring it home and walk it through the snow and stuff. So Sherry says I'm here. Okay, let me give her a wrench real quick. And moderator, there you guys go. Okay, so everybody with a wrench is able to bid. Sherry, you have a wrench now. So this is another group of the older Batman. This is your 401 Magpie. Condition's really high grade. Uh, there's 50 books in this lot, 463, 444, 444. This one's issue 432, 425. Batman looks like he's gonna be, he's gonna have a car accident. 
414, 413, 468. There are multiple copies of this one, so if this is a good one, there are three of those. They're all high grade. 466. It's a $10 start. Shipping is included in the United States. If you're foreign, you just pay the difference in foreign shipping. 466. 465. 464. Another 464. 543. 542. 506. 502, another 502, 499, here is 652, and I'll show you another one. Notice the difference in color. So this one is a first printing, and these are second printings. <laughs> Number 461. Nancy says, stop. Janine says, you're lagging. We're not stopping. <laughs> she goes, I know. I'm only joking. 433. <laughs> 431. 421. I should do this with comics. I think it would be fun. 479. The only problem with it with comics is, like, I might throw up a $1,000 comic book and not know it. It'd be good for whoever says stop first, but I think it'll make other people mad. 470, yep. 469, 469, 467, two of those with Robin, 539, 519, 509, 508, 507, this one with Ezekiel, 488, 487, 672, 667, 659. I'm not even looking to see if these are first prints or not, but these are all first print. And then these are 653 and 650. So that's what we've got in this lot of 50 Batman comics. Seemed like this box was primarily Batman, a few Adam Strange and other things. Batman ain't bad. Okay, there you go. Okay, where are we at, Mama G? I have Jim at 120. Okay, and so you have Jim at 120. Yep, Mr. Hot Wheels is out. I just need to know if Adam and Buzzsaw are out. Janine, that would be great. Bus saws out. Okay. And as far as comic lots that I have here with me, I only have two more, and then I have a box of like fanzines, larger format magazine type stuff, underground comics, that type of stuff. Got Adam at 133. Okay. Adam with 133. Next bid would be 143 we're looking for. Shusha says, lunch break auction time. Drop that big from ephemera lot. <laughs> I should have brought a big ephemera lot home. I actually just found, or Pam, I should say, just found a box yesterday of like 1800s and early 1900s sheet music. So all the covers are really beautiful and awesome. So those will be in my auctions this weekend. And that, that goes for everybody else who is here. Uh, T from Auctions for You and I will be doing auctions this weekend on Saturday and Sunday at whatever time T sets the auctions for. Jim is out, so we're going to go ahead and call it. 
I'm her stunt Donna. <laughs> okay. So you just let me know who we got and what price when we're sold. Yeah, it's a great group of Batman. Looks like he's already putting it, putting it in the chat when it is. Oh, there you go. Saturday at 1 p.m. and Sunday at 5 p.m. I believe sold. it is going to be on auctions for you, Carl. Hi, Nancy. Okay, we're sold, sold, sold for how much to who? To Adam okay. Jurowski for 133. Jurowski. Congrats, Adam. Yep, awesome buy. These are all high grade books, too. T says yes, her channel. Yep, T's channel. We're going to go have some tea and cookies. Mm. That's what we should. That's what we should sell on T's channel: cookies. Now we can be tea and cookies. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Do you guys want to do a regular bid on postcards, or do you want to do some old photos? Let's do some old photos. Okay, so in here you have 50 original 1800s CDVs, cards to the Vist photos. And these are all original, and there are 50 in this lot. And there have been a few famous people found in the photos from some of the buyers. Some of them are identified on the back of who it is, taken December 16th of 1883. Has her height, has her age, or his age, whatever. Family. So you get 50 of these original 1870s, 1880s, and 1890s photos. Sorry about the noise in the background. My neighbor is using her snowblower. She's very pretty, this one. Look, I would say that this is a picture of Pam when she was like only 20. She's not here to hit me right now, so it's fine. William Barnett. Can you hear me? I feel sorry for you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't those just darling? Yeah, these are gorgeous. Sainsville, Ohio. And there's so many things that can make these valuable, from the clothes the person wears to who it is, to who the photographer is, like, some photographers got bought out and became famous. And I have a question for you real quick before you start pulling too many more stacks. The woman that sure. you had ab above the three guys and then all the way to the, when you look at her, how do you know if they're She's a woman? Oil check. No, 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 oh. no. African-American or if they're Caucasian. Shh. It's really hard to tell on some of the earlier stuff. Um, she does have an ethnic look to her. Right. That's why I was kind of asking. Yeah. It's really hard to tell. So I don't always know. Um, oh, okay. That's why I don't say it too often. Cause there are a lot, you know, she may be mulatto. Okay. 
So like this one has the person's name, what year they were born, 1854 to 1932, unmarried, but the photo was taken in the 1880s. Yes, Janine, we are going to get be a good team this weekend. This little girl's got semi-pink cheeks. She reminds me of Shirley Temple in a way, just not curly. Her hair's not curly enough. And even Shirley Temple wasn't that old. This little girl's cute. Mm -hmm. Love her little hat. Like an early version of Madeline. I've been dealing in paper a long time, and this was the biggest collection I've ever bought of vintage photography from the 1800s. And we've been selling it on the channel now for a little while. A lot of it's actually identified, so it's really special. The crazy, yeah, the crazy part about it is with Janine in the chat, and I'm not really having to answer a whole lot of questions right now. I can just look at it, and it's really incredible. I guess I asked that because I know someone else had said something about getting older ephemera. Yeah. And he was probably, you know, a Civil War soldier. If his name is on the back, you can actually find out because of the age of the photos, you can look at most of the guys and realize that, you know, 70% of the population at that time of the male population, you know, would have been civil war, whether they were deserters or generals or, you know. Did you count how many photos? Are there 50? There's 50. Okay. I counted them when I made the tray. This one's really cool. Cause it's got the camera at the top and the graphics in the back. This one's so cute. A you know, little boy with his turban hat. He looks ornery. Well, you would be too if you had to stand there for 45 <laughs> minutes in your little sailor outfit. And you wanted to be in the Army, not in the Navy. Or in your case, the Air Force. True. What? I didn't pass the Air Force exam? Oh, guess I have to settle for the Army. <laughs> I'm just kidding, everyone. Not. I'm just kidding. That was a mama joke only joke. <laughs> this guy's got like the beard. His name's on the side. Oh, I'm so sorry, Gary. Gary gave you a $3 super sticker that says oh. fist bump. Thanks, Gary. Fist bump. This one's I really got awesome it, too. Gene. This whole family. That one kid's got these giant eyes. He's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> He's like, Mom, how am I supposed to keep a straight face after you just farted like that? <laughs> and she's like crossing her arms. Shut up. <laughs> Either that kid's really short or that, tear, that chair is really tall. This kid looks like Alpha Alpha in a dress. <laughs> so that's what you guys get in this lot. 50 photos. We've got Nancy at 125. Okay. <laughs> Back then, it's hard to know because some of the boys wear like little christening dresses, right? For photos, I think that's what's happened, you know, nowadays. Everybody should just get a dress and free ball it. <laughs> My wife's just what? looking at me, it's like, "What are you saying online?" It's not a dress, Mom. It's a kilt. 
Oh, geez. All right, if everybody else is out, Nancy's the only one in, we're going to go ahead and start calling it, Janine. Okay, start writing this down here. Photo a lot. Thanks, J.I. Okay, I see it now. Gary gave you a $5 super chat. I got to run, Brian. Have a great auction, buddy. I'll check back hey, in later. Thank you, Gary. Day. You guys check out Westside Gary's channel. He does auctions every couple Saturdays a month. And he's always got fun, awesome stuff. See you around the interwebs. Oh, thank you, Suzy Q. Suzy Q dropping knowledge bombs. Wow. How do you know if they're pink or blue when sometimes they're, not they're really tinted? Oh, okay. Very okay, rarely. Then. Like colored photos from this time period are much, much rarer and they're much more expensive. Okay, so we have Nancy Newell at one twenty five. Congratulations, Nancy. Awesome lot. Congratulations. And again, guys, I do apologize. The option is not the same from the house, but I think we're doing all right. Okay, I've got another lot of comic books, and then I'll do a lot of postcards. I'm working my way down a pile I created for you guys. Okay, so there's 50 comics in this lot. I'll show you what Is you're going to get. this one a lot of Batman, too? There's a lot of Batman and then action comics in this one. Batman 644. 644. Batman 642. This one's cool. Killer Croc. First printing. Three of those. Old Friends with the Superman cover, 631, 628, 623, 622, 607, really like that cover too. This one is 601, then you get into some action comics, number 860. 858, 857, 855, 854, 853. There's two copies of that. I'll get back to another Batman, 595. The kid's like, when I picture this, I look at this kid's face and I'm like, trick or treat. Uh, I just peed myself. <laughs> Probably. 571, 565, 548, and then we go into Action Comics, number 33, this is from the Superman Doomed chapter, 34, 34, this is where Superman kind of became like Doomsday. 31, 30, 30, 29, 29, 28. This is from the new 52 line. 27, 26, 25, 24. 23. So it's a nice little run. It's 23.4. This is Metallo. So that's the Metallo issue one. This is 23.3, which is the Lex Luthor issue number one. 
This is General Zod, issue number one, 232.2. Aztec, the ultimate man. Aztec, the ultimate man. This is issue one of Aztec. Issue seven. This one's really cool. Joker's Holiday on Aztec. Issue six. There's two of those. Issue five. And issue four. That's what you get in this lot. 50 comics, all unread condition, high grade. Your camera's kind of tipping. I don't know if you're bumping it. Yeah, there. There you go. There you go. Okay. It's a wobbly table. You still had it in camera view, so I didn't say anything while you were showing them because we could still see the names and stuff really well. Adam comes in at 100. Adam with the Benjamin. Thank you, Adam. If I was investing, that's what I'd be investing in right now. High-grade comic books. Oh, really? Yeah. Comics, non-sports cards are really, really hot right now. Um, obviously, sports cards are really hot. Those are probably your three hottest markets. So Jim's in at 110. I mean, obviously, I bought 50,000 comics last this past right. weekend. But I would buy another 50,000 tomorrow if I could. If they were as good as this lot was. We're at 120 with Andrew. You're making spaghetti for lunch. Okay. Brian, how long do those kinds of things stay hot? Um, comics have been hot for about the past four or five years consistently, mm -hmm. but a lot of that's because all the movies are being made. So everybody who's in their, you know, my age and their thirties, you know, they're, they're trying to relive their childhood now that we can afford it. Right. Same with Pokemon. I mean, think about it. Pokemon came out in 1993 or 1994 and there's Pokemon cards worth a quarter of a million dollars. Yeah, that's crazy. Got Adam at 133 looking for $10 or more advance. Yep, so we're looking for 143 or better. <laughs> yep, spaghetti. Just making the boys spaghetti. Because my knees are weak. My palms are sweaty. <laughs> Yep. So we're at 133 with Adam looking for 143. Yeah, grading's crazy. My personal idea is like sports cards, PSA 10 cards are worth five grand for, you know, let's say a Tom Brady card, where a PSA 9 is worth 700. I think people investing in PSA 9s are going to make out a lot better than people that are already paying crazy prices for PSA 10s. Because more people can afford a seven hundred dollar card than they can afford a five thousand dollar card. So we have Andrew in at one forty three. That's my personal opinion, and I've noticed that with comic books, you know, high grade comics, first appearance of Wolverine, or you know, Spider Man one twenty nine, first appearance of Punisher. Like I know the top echelon comics super high grade are so expensive that people are you know the, the trickle down effects happening with ps or uh, cgc sixes now and cgc sevens are increasing month after month after month in value See, because the other books are so expensive i hear you say all that and all i hear is wolverine and comic <laughs> yeah Hulk 181 first appearance of wolverine see i don't really hear all the numbers and the different 
universes oh, and multiverses so, and yeah but i mean like the first appearance of ring five years ago you could have bought that book in an 80 for 200 dollars, you know mm. or a 90 for 300 350 dollars now that book's five thousand dollars in those grades oh You know, when Dragon yeah. Ball Z first Sorry. came out, my son was so into that that he has like all of these things collected from when they first came out and he still has them all. It's like, oh, man, look, I just want to get some of that. I'm a big nerd too. You. Like, you know, Dragon Ball Z, when it came out, I remember waiting for every Saturday night at midnight yep. so that I could watch 30 minutes of Dragon Ball Z. Yep. Well, congratulations, Andrew Campbell, for 143. 143. <laughs> hey, us nerds are ruling the world now. Who rules the world? Nerds. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's do a regular bid auction. For postcards, and the regular bids. It's going to be whatever I'm putting here. I don't know how many that is, but I'll count it in a minute. So ten dollars start. I'll add a little bit more to it. Yeah, let's, let's let's add a little bit more. Okay, so then I'll just give you guys a count. You're going to start bidding. It's just a regular bid this time. It's not a stop and drop. Ultraman. Yep. I lived in Hawaii for a long time, so we had like Go Rangers and Kakaida, Cayman Rider. Okay, so show you guys what you're bidding on, but you're going to be bidding on everything I just had on the tray. Now you're just going to get a better view of it, and I'm going to do a count. So there's some old match packs from Reno, casinos, postcard, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That one's really cool. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I'll make a little sign up too for whenever we do stop and drops. Eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. This one's really cool. It's World's Fair. Yeah. It goes like that, actually. 25, 26. I've got vet picks at 100. 27, 28, 29, 30. Jeez, it takes me 140 cards to get people to say 100. <laughs> 41, <laughs> they like this 42, one. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. This one's cool with all bicycles and stuff on it. 54, 55. 56, New York City, follow that one. 57. Not going to count these, but you get them with it. Las Vegas, 58. Another Las Vegas, fold out one. So it has a bunch inside. 59, 60, 61, Nevada. 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. 68, 69, that one's cool. Las Vegas, Nevada, 1922. I don't know what number I'm on now. I think it's 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. These are a bunch of labels. Look, A.W. Campbell Agency. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, that was really cool. 80, 81, 82, 
there's actually two there, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Fabulous Flamingo. This might not be there anymore. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, Sands Casino, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Here's that some more. Vix is out. I've got Nancy as high bid at 160. And there's still this many to go. Wow. So 30, 33. So it's 133, 134, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Lots of casino ones. 46, 47. 48, 49, 50, choo choo train, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, New York, 57, Blair, Nebraska, 58, 59, 60, 51, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 59, that one's cool, 70, 71, don't count that. 72. This is very cool. Incubator and Bruder. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. Not sure what this is from. 76, 77, 78, 79. Pontiac. 80. 81, some kind of letter from 1922. 82, 83, 84, 5, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 3, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. 99, 200, 201, 202, 203, choo choo train, 204, 205, 206, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we're going to say 220, and there might be a few extras. I have Jeffrey at 210. Nancy just came in at 225. There we go. Jeff Jeffrey's back in at 235. I see Shush just came in just a second after Nancy. She so did. we're at 235. Yep. Looking we have 250 with Nancy. At least the chat's catching up now. It's running good. Yeah, it is. Hi, Sugar Plum Fairy. Is Jack able to bid? Hang on one second. Jack, Jack, Jack. So we have Sherry, Texan Grammy. So Texan Grammy, you're able to bid. Just uh, make a comment so that we can give you a wrench. What's Jack's last name? Roberson. Or Roberson. R-O-B-E-R-S-O-N. Correct. Oh, yeah. He's, he's on a different computer. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Jack. 
Yep. Just remember, guys, when you sign on on a different computer and it has you on as a different name, sometimes we won't know. But Big Sky Flippery, we got you. We've got Nancy at 280. <laughs> so 280 with Nancy. Looking for 290. Jeffrey is out. Yeah, I think the ones with writing are, are just more interesting to me personally. Jack, I just need to know if you're out, please. He's out. And so is Shusha, so we can call it down. Okay. Start calling it down. I thought about doing wholesale lots of the postcards from that postcard collection I bought. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Jeffrey. You get used to it after a little while. <laughs> Kyle will jump in. He'll put one bid in, and Nancy will be like, it's yours, Kyle. <laughs> so drop it on him. And then Kyle will have to ask his little brother for a loan. Yeah, there's all that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Spencer. My wife said there's no fantasy tonight. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so are we sold? We're sold. Yes, we're sold. Sold, sold, sold. <laughs> Trisha said she would be interested in a wholesale lot. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. Like, maybe I'll make a video soon with wholesale comics and wholesale um, postcards. Because I haven't done a wholesale video in a little while. So, do you have just any wanted to make sure. Pokemon cards today? Lindsay's asking. I did not bring any Pokemon home today. I did not. Okay, I'm going to do another lot of comics because I have one more lot made. Okay. And then I, that's the last lot of comics. And then I have the box of like magazines and stuff. So. But these are all unread condition as well. There's 50 books in this lot. $10 start because that's what it'll cost me to ship it. Action comics. This one's a lot of action comics. 834. 833. That one's cool. It's got Moon Knight in the background. 832 or the Spectre. What's the Spectre? Spectre, sorry. 832. 831. 830. 814. 814. Okay, somebody's going to have to tell me the story of the horses I 816. asked. 816. 816. <laughs> in the postcard lot yesterday there was a picture of a horse's ass but it was a hairless horse like oh, it was a no. famous some kind of famous hairless horse that was like a race horse or something in the okay. postcards so nancy and kyle were bidding on the horse's ass got it oh man and, I'm and nancy nancy was the high bidder and then kyle's like one more time one more bid and nancy's like dropped it on him <laughs> That's what happens. Eight twenty. I've, I've got other people saying the wholesale lot would be great. Eight twenty one. Okay. Yeah, then I'll make a wholesale video for next week. I'll try to see if I can get it out by Monday. Um we'll probably do like a hundred postcards for a hundred dollars and it'll just be whatever I grab out of the boxes. I have five more boxes at the warehouse. Out of that 25,000 piece collection I bought. Right. 
but as you guys see, I just sold, you know, 203 postcards out of, out of a lot and it brought 280. So I got more than the dollar a piece and there is some extremely rare stuff in there. Like even in this box that I'm going to do today with you guys, you'll see there's, I saw a really, really amazing handful of real photo postcards, including like some native American stuff from the thirties. Oh, wow. So. Dropped it for a thousand dollars. A thousand and ten, but yep. Wow. <laughs> it was it was a lot of postcards. I counted them all. It was like it was eleven hundred and twenty three or eleven hundred and twenty four postcards. So this is issue eight hundred. It's a good issue. Issue seven ninety four, eight oh one, eight oh two. Nancy says it was great. <laughs> eight oh four, eight oh five, eight oh six. 807, 808, 809, 810. There were some really great postcards in there too. So there's 50 comics. They are in unread condition. So they are minty, minty, minty. High grade. Jim Dodge is at 80. Woodbine girl wants you to say something. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> Is that what she wanted me to say? That was it. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Was I supposed to do it with the hands? Hercules, Hercules, just that strong boy. Hercules, Hercules. Why don't you do it how Eddie Murphy did it? That is, well, it wasn't Eddie, well, he was playing as the grandma at the time but oh, he was playing as the mother too yeah so she's like look at my baby isn't he strong and he he holds out his arms mm -hmm. and he makes his things she's like my little hercules and she's like hercules 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 well i have to run to cbs to get so well i don't know how you're gonna run anywhere right now okay. you're gonna walk to cbs to get more more spaghetti sauce? Yeah. Okay. She's going to slide. I'll do that. Okay. Bye, honey. And while you're out there, you could shovel the driveway. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> well, you can use the snowblower. It's a lot easier than a shovel. So we have Jim at 90 looking for 95 or better. <laughs> So we are at $90 with Jim, looking for 95 or better. We're going to start counting it down. And guys, we have 140 people in here. Thank you all for being here. It's definitely much appreciated. Even the person who gave us a thumbs down, you're much appreciated too. We just want you to know that you're loved. Okay, go in twice. Hi, Lonnie. Lana, sorry. Congrats, Jim Dodge, for 90. Nice buy, Jim. Okay. I'll be back in a minute, Dokers. Okay. 
So here we go. This is a lot of 50 CDVs, Carta de Vist photos. In this lot, all 1860s to 1890s. I'm right here, Janine. You get 50 photos. Well, we're going to start with Tar Hill at $50. Okay, perfect. Oh, Janine says he's lagging. I'm lagging? No, not you. Well, oh. Shisha just says 100. On what? On these? Okay. I think. Shushes, are you bidding on these or on the comics? I'm sure it's on these. And Philip, you'll need to register before you're able to bid. So we have Nikki in at 120. Yeah, Shusha says it's the photos. Okay. So there are 50 of these cabinet photos, CDVs, Carta de Vist photos. Grandma Moses right there. Look, this guy's holding down Oscar the Grouch's lid. <laughs> C is for cookie. Good enough for me. Cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. They're all in front of the same chair. Yeah, or they were all taken at the same studio. Yeah. Every now and then you find ones that are outside, and those are better because it was more expensive to have portable equipment. This one has the guy's name, where he's from. It's a very young, dapper gentleman. And some of these may be marked on the back. It's just the lighting in this in the kitchen here is not. Ideal for doing this. Must be cold outside. It is cold outside for sure. I was implying her headlights. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki's at 140. Well, it was. Look. Pink. Bless her heart, it's the material. Oh, okay. That just made her unattractive then. <laughs> and look at this woman's hair. Look at that. That's unattractive. Like, what is up with that hair? Your mom went to CVS to get more spaghetti sauce for you guys. This is a really, really early one. Souvenir. It's real thick. You can just tell. This one has national seals on it and stuff, so this might have been like a passport photo. Hmm. Because that's an Austrian seal. Oh, who's the cowboy in that one commercial where his mustache moves? I have no clue. Yeah, he's a new, like, uh, he's a really well-known cowboy. Sam Elliott? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. This guy's got Sam Elliott's mustache beat. Okay. 
John Grant. Shusha's at 150. This guy looks familiar. I don't know who he is, though. He looks familiar. This is foreign as well. Sorry, I'm not showing you guys the backs of all of them, but I'm just kind of flipping through them so that I try not to hit the camera and bounce it around. The kid's mom put lard in his hair. You can just tell it. Oh, yeah. Slicked that stuff down. I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to spit on her hand and put my, push my calyx down. Mm-hmm. Like when I was real little. This woman's got a really neat, she's got a little basket of flowers. That's cute. Her cheeks are tinted. She's probably a teenage girl. Got Nancy at 180. I love these photos. She's really cute. She's actually standing on the chair or sitting mm -hmm. on the arm, one or the other. Nikki's at 200. And the backs of some of them are really cute. See them setting up a little camera, like the little cherub kids. Oh, little yeah. Naked babies. Little naked babies putting up the camera. Let me see her chair again, what she's sitting on. That's kind of, they all look similar when, I guess it's the furniture setting too, though, back in the day. Yep. Latrobe, Pennsylvania. This woman's scary. Yeah, that does not look happy. You think she looks unhappy? What's her husband look like? He's already gone. Like, you sure? Yeah. You'd think, she, you'd think she'd be happier then. <laughs> that must be him there. This guy's got the straw hat and the butcher bib, so this is probably a butcher of some sort. Maybe that's her that's husband really cool. and he takes her out. You know, who knows? Maybe. Beautiful. I love the backgrounds. And that's all of them in this lot, 50 of them. I've got Picky Nikki at 260. Okay, let's see here. Lynn, if you're in the room, just make a comment that you sent registration. Robin Watson, if you are in the room, just make a comment that you sent registration. And I can give you both wrenches. <laughs> Nancy's at 270. Yeah, I love some of the, like, the little girls are just so cute. And this one just, you know, for my own amusement. I love the fact he's got on like the butcher's bib. Robin just said, yes, I did. Thank you. If we could wrench her. Okay. Debbie says, hi, everybody. And I've got Nancy at 300. Robin, you now have a wrench. You were able to bid. And let me check on Debbie, see if she has sent a registration. Thanks, Nikki. Nikki's out. Don't have one from Debbie. I'm looking around for what I did with the papers and I'm literally writing on it while I'm looking for it. Janine, that's right. No countdown. Only two bidders. Once the final bidder is out, it's sold. Yep. Congratulations. Sold, sold, sold. Nancy. Sold, sold, sold. That way we get three more lots for you guys. Well, you guys were excited about that one. We'll do another one. 
This is another 50 photos. Starting bit of 10 doll hairs. And in the box that these came in, there was a, uh, a little note card. So I'm guessing this is for, for a photo. It says photo number 4029. So some of them have numbers written on the back. And it says Sister Sarah Miller, 1900. And then it said that they found her in the 1920 census. Because I guess the collection that this guy bought was some kind of a photo genealogy archivist something. I don't remember exactly what, but wow! Yeah, I've never seen ten thousand eighteen hundreds photos before for sale in one lot. Okay, I and have MC I, saying that they sent an email. Okay, I've got Tarnell like already at probably, fifty. I'd probably say she was ethnic. Right, has that look? But unless okay, so you did the genealogy, you wouldn't really know that, right? Correct. MC, you are good to go. Have Penny you. Day would be good to go. Why is she? Yes. Penny Day is absolutely good to go. She doesn't have a wrench. She does now. Okay, thanks. Who else were we looking for? Or was it just those two? Just those two. Um... <laughs> Carrie said, ever since I joined this channel, I see dead people. <laughs> you have to admit that movie was great because you had no clue what the ending was going to be until the ending. You're right. You're right. It was just like Fight Club. You really had no clue. Well, I had a clue because that stuff happens in my head all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Woodbine Girl said, just start this lot at 200 and it won't take so long. <laughs> but that takes all the fun out of it. That's why me and Janine always put 25 instead of 10. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever you do, do a little little stuff at. I just kind of base everything on like, hey, I'm literally giving you the items for free and starting you out at what it's going to cost to ship it. And then you guys bid to where you're comfortable. Right. You know, different parts of the country have different values for different things and availability to get stuff like, you know, this type of stuff is very, very rare to find Midwest and out West where right. here on the East coast, especially Northeast, you can find this a little bit more readily. There's going to be 15 total pick or 50 total pictures 50. MC. Yep. And I've got Tar Hill 50. at a hundred. This guy was probably served in the civil war at some point And it's probably an officer because you don't, you know, get that hefty if you actually were a foot soldier. He was a foot and soldier and she was not. Either, <laughs> either that or she gets on top. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like how I can hear your voice, like try to hold back from laughing. Right. That's funny. John he looks Dink like he's got a Dinkelheimer secret. Schmidt. He's smiling. Right, right here's his secret. I used <laughs> to be a man. <laughs> Hi, my name's Tina. <laughs> She's really cute. The little girl. Mm -hmm. This one reminds me of like Little Red Riding Hood. The kids are so chunky. Not all of them. Look at this girl. I've got a cool picture of a camera on the top and the back. Well, let's face it. You know, I mean, the people that could afford the pictures probably could afford more food than the people who couldn't. Yeah. Look, there's this lady had two pictures of her maid. 
She's special. No, it was two too many. <laughs> now, I like this one. That's there's a little cute. bit of tinting. There's a little bit of blue tint still left on their ruffles, but she is absolutely pouting. I don't want to be here. This girl's very pretty. Yeah. That's Ethel Woodrow. This is Ernest P. World now. <laughs> Janine's look, yelling your name in the chat. This guy's actually smiling. Look. How does that happen? That can't be his wife. That must be his mistress. Guy's smiling. Okay. Either that or he's thinking about his mistress. Maybe. Or maybe she's thinking about his mistress. <laughs> Why are we yelling my name? Am I in trouble again? <laughs> Amber said he farted. <laughs> <laughs> The before and after picture after it waffled her. <laughs> Look at that beard. It's a scraggly beard. You got like gray hair and he's got this dark, dark beard and mustache. There were some photos that were awesome. Like there were some that like it was just like a head floating there in the middle of a bunch of people because of, like a double exposure from the 1800s. Right. Those were exciting. It's cute. Got a crease across the middle, but it's cute. Elmira, New York. I think I looks very stern. Um, I don't know what to say about this guy. He kind of looks like a Muppet. He looks dead to me. He looks like a Muppet. He's got like that. This is Kermit the Frog. <laughs> so that's it. That's that's the fifty of these. I've got Picky Nikki at two twenty. Nancy comes in with an uppercut, 250. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that out loud. What, that early bird said they're a spitter? Yep. They spit out their Diet Coke. Yeah, it happens. Whenever I make Pam laugh at work, I always make sure to finish whatever comment I'm saying when she's not facing me. So that when she spits her drink out, it doesn't come flying at you? Yeah, so it doesn't cover me, yep. Comes out of the nose. <laughs> Nikki, there's no crying at the auction, love. Nikki, don't you worry. You're going to have plenty of chances because... I've got warehouses full of ephemera. Warehouses. I've got more ephemera than brains. And that's right here in this one piece of paper. I mean. <laughs> Maybe he'll do some kind of little special tea lot or something that can. I don't know. Can you do that? Do you have enough of those? Uh, enough of what? These photos? But, yeah. To do like the. um. I think that I haven't been through all the boxes yet. So these were all in one, like it, they were literally in like a 3000 count baseball card box and okay. they were all stood up in there. 
Um, so I made trays out of that one whole baseball card box. And that's, we're down to the last. I have three, three trays left of them. And that's it out of that box. Got it. Okay. So we are at, have we got Nancy? Yes, we sold to Nancy for two fifty. And J.I.'s encouraging Nikki. There's hope. There's she always won hope. a lot. She won a lot a little while, a couple weeks ago, she says. Yeah, I mean, like, look, Nancy feels the same way you guys feel whenever Kathy Bowers here. True story. And Kathy wasn't in this week. So let's do, you tell me what you guys want to do next. I have, oh, we'll do some magazine stuff out of that comic. Lot. I'll make a tray of magazines. I have postcards, magazines, more CDV photos. You guys let me know what you want, but I'll go to magazines. Because I haven't got to look at these and it's a little more exciting whenever I get to see something. So Spectrum number seven, The Strange World of Chance Harper. I don't know who Chance Harper is. Ooh, this is awesome. Special two-in-one issue of Zippy. So Zippy was an underground comic, kind of like Robert Crumb era. Peekaboo's in 3D. See, and you guys thought Pam wasn't here with me today. Get in trouble for that one. <laughs> No, I'm getting in trouble for that one. <laughs> Love and Rockets, number three. Love and Rockets, recommended for mature readers, number 33. Love and Rockets, number 35. Um, I don't know what this is. 1988, ARG. Some kind of a graphic novel fanzine type thing. Eagles by Dance McKean, number one. Barf, number one. By Sid Nauseous. Jeez. Back to school, National Lampoons. National Lampoon. National Lampoon. Oh, this one's awesome. Marvel Super Special from the movie Dune, the official comics adaptation of the spectacular new film. And if you look at the condition, like it's awesome. Like condition of all of these are fantastic. So let's bid. I have Midwest Picker at 40. Okay, let's add, how about Heavy Metal Magazine? Ooh, this one's cool. Look, special preview this issue for Dune and 2010 Space Odyssey. This is from 1985, Epic Illustrated. Ooh, this is cool too. So if you were a Dungeons and Dragons player, DC made their own game, their own like a uh, role-playing game. This is the Justice League source book from DC Heroes. And I'm gonna add one more in this slot. And this one's very cool. 1991, which would have been the first year that cable came out. So there is probably a pre-force, pre-cable introduction. Of previews 1991 so that's probably pretty rare first appearance of cable i believe his first year was 91 so i love how you rearranged that lot to make sure she was showing to make her sh who was showing oh her yeah i didn't even notice i just moved stuff over <laughs> i've got mc at 60 and i'll call this magazine lot 
So it's magazines and underground comics and graphic novels. I haven't seen Pam making comments, so I'm not getting in trouble at least. Yeah, I have. Yeah, it's a nice group. Either. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, that one's cool, 15, hello, 16, 17. MC's at 60, we're going once. Okay. 18. So 18 pieces in the slot. And they're all in and high grade. For everybody who's new, just remember that you will get an invoice and not to pay before the invoice. Correct. And we're going to be sold to MC for $60. Ooh, that was a great buy. Okay, MC for $60. Congratulations. Yes. C, 60. Okay. Let us grab another tray. Janine said, why don't you do a stop and drop? Stop and drop. Okay, stop and drop, guys. So for those of you who are new, a stop and drop is where I throw a bunch of stuff into a tray. As soon as you feel comfortable paying $100, you just say stop. First person to say stop wins it. And I'm just going to count postcards. It's going to be postcards. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And these date from 1900 up until about 1960s. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and I'll spread them out a little bit so you guys can see that there's more. 25, this one's cool, 1904, that hotel, 26, 27, it's an awesome one too, on parade day in Wildwood, New Jersey, so the old oh, cars, that's cool. and the stagecoaches and the motorcycles, it's 28, 29, 30, somehow I feel like I'm miscounting again, 31, 32, 33. Bye, Chris. 34, 35, 36. Hi, Snapper. Well, we'll see you later, Chris. Y'all have toys uh, this weekend. I don't know what number on now. Somewhere in the 40s. Six, 48. 49. 49. Fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, 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 fifty-nine
56, 57, this one's cool, New York, 58, we got a boat on it, 59, 60, oh, this one's awesome, it's all hand colored, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, <laughs> 73, 74, what? Denise says, don't tell him, Mama G, we like the extras. I'm like thinking, did I even tell you the right number anyway? I don't know, 79. It doesn't matter. As They're soon as somebody says them. stop, yeah, as soon as somebody says stop, they win it no matter how many there is. True. Here, I'm even going to stop counting. Okay. Plus, Treasures Return says the funny thing is they're both both of them were off by ten too high from the actual number. Latin America Dancing Club, La Conga, Dome Island. Stop. Vet picks. Brian. I know. I know. Okay. I heard you. I'm just giving vet picks more extras. Okay. That's fine. We're sold the vet picks because we were off by 10. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? I was like 120 something anyway. Okay, postcards. That picks 100. That picks 100 postcards. Okay. Fifty more photos. I'm not even going to show you what's in there. You guys are bidding on it. Mystery lot of fifty CDV photos. Ooh, we don't get to make fun of the people. Nope. Hundred from Tar Hill. Nancy says she's not bidding. Oh, Nancy's not going to bid because there's no no way to know what's there. Nikki, give me 110, honey. Yep, we're looking for 110. There's Oaks 50 photos. First. Yep, they are. Well, Tar Heels first at 100. But oh, Scotty oh, came at in at 110. 110. Okay, yeah, I'm still on the top chat. Nikki for 120. Nancy, you sure you don't want to be in this lot? Because I, I might do something crazy, just so you know. She says, no, I am being kind for others to get them, too. Okay. But he's talking crazy talk now, Nancy. Keep, keep a watch out. You never know. Be ready to jump. So we're at 130. <laughs> Nikki says, no, don't do that. <laughs> Not because I whine. Robert, I would have no clue. Like, I haven't even looked at the postcards. I literally opened this box today right before the auction so that I could start giving it to you guys. 
So we're at 140 with if, Nikki? If it gets crazy, I might jump in. <laughs> I'll make the next one crazy. I'll let the I'll let them play. So we have Tar Hill in at 150. Just remember I only have two more trays of these CDV photos out of everything that I've looked through so far to make trays. This lot and then two additional or this one Correct. and then one more. Okay. No, I have two more additional after this. Okay. And that's that's all of the CDVs that were in that that big 3000 count baseball card box. And all we've right. put other stuff in front of the photos, so I haven't been able to get back to making new photo lots. I have a box of miscellaneous photos here. Right. From from that palette, but I don't know what's in it yet. But you guys are going to find out because I'm going to sell it to you. Ooh. Nikki at 175 looking for Tar Hill. Oh, he's out. <laughs> I wouldn't know. You know, Dave, it's really funny that you say that. I saw a picture of Billy the Kid on line that sold for like you know half a million dollars some some insane number but it was like an actual picture of him proof that it was you know of him stuff like that and you know i look at it i'm like if i saw that in these photos i would have no clue that that's billy the kid how am i supposed to know and we're sold Picky Nikki, 175. Picky Nikki. Yep, 175. Congratulations, Nikki. Where's Kyle Tarana? Or Kyle Elliott? Kyle T. Kyle T I'm says, yay, Nikki got one. Okay, so I'm going to clear off my chair right here. Um, look, here you go. This is the last of those. So there's another hundred photos, all in one lot. All in one lot. One lot. Hundred photos. Hundred photos. Okay. Scotty said a hundred. Nancy so said two hundred. So both trays. Both trays, guys. So you'll see some. Some you won't see. There might be a hand-colored one in here. Scotty's at 210. But this is the last two trays that I've made from that palette of these CDV photos. Until I can get back to that palette to see if there's more. Nancy's at Scotty's at 277. I'm putting them all into one tray just so it's easier for you guys to see. Plus, it gives me a tray for magazines. It's got a red border. Oh, I've heard that name before. R. Abbott. Union Springs, New York. This one's really cute. Taken with a brick background on a ledge. But this is the last of the CDVs that we have trays of made or that we found so far. Pam has been the one kind of going through. She found the box and said, ooh, look at these. And I was like all excited because I realized there was a bunch in there. Yes, Nikki, I, I totally understand about that. <laughs> Nancy's at 300. <laughs> okay. So this is 100 pieces, 100 CDB photos. So this is a huge lot. 
huge photo lot. CDB. Scotty's out. Hi, Joe. And you guys didn't even see what was on the other tray because I covered it with the other tray. So you're getting 100 in this lot. Kyle, Just Nancy's asking if you're in. This will be the biggest lot we've sold of CDVs and cabinet photos. Oh, it's very possible that there's famous people. I know that some of the other ones that we sold early on, there was a couple authors and uh, there was a, a really well-known poet and there was some lady that was super wealthy and died of something and became famous. Oh, wow, well, congrats, Nancy. We double sold? Lot, yep, double lot of photos to Nancy Ooh. for 300 Look at that, Nancy. That's the same price you paid for a single lot just a minute ago. Bargain. Most people do die of something, Brian. Um. <laughs> that is true. It was an unexpected reason. I think she was murdered by like her husband or something like that. But she was famous. Because I can't say who the buyer is because they may be in here right now. Right. They may not be. But I do know that the photo is going to a high-end auction in Rhode Island, I think. Oh, wow. Awesome. From one they bought from you? Mm-hmm. So these are graphic novels. Early Star Log. Comic scene with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie coming out. Another awesome Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Rocketeer magazine. Comic scene. I'm trying to keep count. Two, three, four, five, six. Six pieces so far. Comic scene. Seven. That one's awesome. That was uh, Todd McFarlane. If everybody could doing. take a minute and Eight. hit Jill up, and she only needs a couple of, or nine, nine more subs to get to 300. Oh, that's awesome. Comics Journal, 10. It's with uh, Matt Groening. 11. So Simpsons. Ooh, more Simpsons. Super good cult following on Simpsons. Who's Who in the DC Universe? This is for the source book for the role-playing. Another Who's Who for the role-playing source book. Another Who's Who. I've got Picky awesome. Nicky in at 50. Marvel. Look at him. Captain, are those tidy whiters, or are you just happy to see me? It looks like an extra pair of socks. Oh, okay. Well, you know, at least he's prepared. <laughs> Marvel <laughs> Illustrated, premiere issue number one with She-Hulk. I'd make passionate green love with her. Sorry, honey. <laughs> Star Trek Voyager number one with the new Star Trek series coming out. Star Trek stuff is starting to become popular. Another Star Trek and Omni. Okay. That fills that box rather nicely. It's a bunch of stuff. I've and got it is all high grade. At 75. Okay. I have a selling goal today, so. I'm gonna make lots big enough to reach my selling goal. Okay. Scotty's out. Josh is out. I'm slurring my words. 
She's already started drinking, and I haven't even said anything perverted yet. Right. She started drinking the minute she came into the, the back room here because she realized it's No Pants Thursday. Uh-huh. Oh, we're going to, Nancy. We're going to sell for sure. Jill's only two away now. Oh, Jack came in at 80. Nikki's at 90. Jack's at 80. Nikki's at 90. We have an auction. Yeah. An auction. Jack's at 100. Perfect. Nikki jumps to 120. Nikki's all fired up because she bought photos. Oh, yeah. She's all excited. No, thank you, Amber. <laughs> Amber, I'm going to vote for Mama G's, too. If you guys are looking for Bigfoot, some hairy legs, then you, you want to see mine. If you're looking for a true, you know, abominable snowman and want to see hairy legs, then you go for Mama G. Right. That's it. <laughs> She's trying to stay warm this winter. It is cold. <laughs> yes, there is a huge leg. Okay, so we have 120 with Nikki. Looks like Jack is out. No shave winner. Yep. No, no leg shave winner. Correct. I hate when I meet, meet a girl. Legs. I, I hate when I meet a girl at the bar and she comes with her own dental floss. Oh no! No, he did not. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. Okay, are we sold? Yes, we are. We're sold to Picky Nikki for 120. Congratulations. It's like whenever you look through, like, the old... Uh, <laughs> like mo mo movie magazines and stuff, and you see like pictures of Farrah Fawcett and people like that in like a bikini, mm -hmm. and you're like, you're like, damn! Now I know where Lenny Kravitz was hiding all those years. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> you see Jacqueline Onassis. Woo! Um, Nikki said Brian quit writing the prices on post its because when I open up boxes, the whole house is like. What? You spent what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sci-fi entertainment. Nikki, you tell the rest of the house what mama wants, mama gets. Star Trek official club. So that's our household that? No, we're not telling our household that. <laughs> no 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 woman we heard that <laughs> she drives the brand new car I drive the old car hey that's my choice I know you chose to drive a brand new car, no, <laughs> car. official fan club Star Trek 
You guys, I'm not going to win this one. Nope. I'm just going to stop. Star Trek Communicator. 100th issue, that's cool. Sorry, if you guys need my Keurig. Star Trek Communicator? Yeah, because she needed a Keurig. Excuse me, I got this one for free. Excuse me, what? I got this Keurig for free. You punch her in the cooter and tell her Carla sent you. <laughs> Not of this Earth, so this is like a Star Trek fanzine. That one actually has Lois and Clark on it, a preview for Superman, Lois and Clark. And that series is getting redone, and it's going to start coming out again. I just saw a preview for it the other night. Yeah. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, Demolition Man with Sylvester Stallone. Star Trek Next Generation. So this is a great Star Trek lot, and these are all in high grade. Some of these have posters inside. Four amazing new posters. Complete your collection. How are we doing for my, uh, new French Bulldog Fund? There is no new French Bulldog Fund. Sorry. We've now changed your French Bulldog Fund into the Divorce Fund. <laughs> <laughs> Leroy ne Leonard Nimoy. Another Star Trek Next Generation. Like I said, with the Star Trek movies coming out, the new Star Trek series coming out, Star Trek has taken off. Another two months, these magazines will be hot, 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 hot. And there's a huge following for Star Trek stuff. So, so this is going to be a Star Trek lot. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, Amber. No new house fund because you spent it twice. Are we talking about me? Are we talking about yeah. Amber? No, you, I think. How did I spend it twice? I mean, like the comic books and the the postcards? Huh? I don't or the know. Comic I didn't books say it. She did. The comic books, the photos, and the postcards? This is a huge lot of Star Trek, guys. I I just looked in the box, and I'm just giving you everything that is Star Trek. Oh, so we're not stopping at 50 this time. No, well, there's never 50 in, in the magazines. I don't but, know how many pieces this is, to be honest. Yeah. All I do know is that a lot of these sell for really good money because they have, like, posters and stuff in them. Right, right. But I figure whoever gets them, it's easier if they get all of the Star Trek stuff that I see here in this row because it's a little older. Um. If I see it here in this row, you know, you get all of it at once. It brings more customers to your eBay stores and stuff. Right. And I think that is it in Star Trek. Oh, no, it's not. Check this out. Cracked, spaced out Star Trek issue. So that's like mad. Oh, speaking of mad, like mad magazine, Star Trek. Oh, wow. This guy's head's a foot long. Get it? Mm-hmm. Drink. And Nancy's at 75. I'm just going to finish this whole box off on this one lot. That's really hilarious. I like that one. <laughs> it, it is hilarious. But because the rest of the box was only like another six or seven things, I'm just putting them in this lot. Okay. We've got Nancy at 100. Ooh, this one's awesome. This is actually probably a really good one. This is a graphic novel, Batman 3D, DC Presents. It's in unread condition. It's really nice. We're just adding a few Batman on top of the Star Trek lot. Plus, you're getting support groups for the human face of HIV and AIDS epidemic. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Look, I just said whatever's in the box is going up there. Yeah, Vanity Fair. Clinton's White House master. So so shouldn't that be Vanity Affair? Right. Uh, Raggedy Andy. So that's what you get in this lot. And that's the end of this box down here. This box of magazines can get out of my way now. My goal is always Nancy. just to empty boxes. So True. Nancy's at 125. 
Okay, we have 125 with Nancy. This is a bunch of pieces, though. It really is. Yeah. Hi, Frank. Hello, Frank. Get Nancy at one fifty. And apparently she doesn't care about the value, she wants them. Big sky flippers out. Going once. So there's this many pieces in this lot, guys. Let's see. There's six in my hand. So there's probably about 30 or 40 pieces in total. Yeah, lots of Star Trek. I'm going twice now. Sold to Nancy for one fifty. Okay. Put that down. I am also doing an email, Brian, if it makes it easier for you not to have to write it down. Oh, no problem. Yeah, I'm just so used to doing it, but and it helps me from I have a small case of OCD. That's fine. Nancy said, or excuse me, Picky Nikki said, you know, just don't put her, just put $5 on all her lots. <laughs> so that when okay. her family sees it, they see $5. <laughs> so I just put a certificate in the top of it that says, congratulations for winning Publishers Clearinghouse. You have won. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to my mouse down here. Okay. We are vastly running out of trays here. Okay, let's do. Do you guys want stop and drop or do you want auction? Let's do auction. I think I can do a bigger lot. Auction. Two handfuls. I don't know how many it is, but it's a lot. <laughs> it's at least a couple hundred postcards. <laughs> Nancy said, Brian, invoice me by splitting them up because I'm only limited to spending 2000 per day. I'll make it so that you can just make payments on them. There you I go. I can just click a button on the PayPal invoice that allows that. One, <laughs> two, three. These are by bid, $10 start. Four, five, six, seven, eight. These are a little newer. Nine, 10, 11. I'm just kind of flipping. I'm not even going to count those. Nancy 11, said, thank you so much. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25, 26, Jeffrey's in at 100. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, just grin and bear it, 40, <laughs> 41, 42, 43, 44, 
44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. I'm not going to count it. 51, 52, 53. I'm not going to count any more of those. Nancy said, I've never had a credit card and the debit card has its limits. I have mine hooked up to my actual 55. checking account so it doesn't do the limit of a debit card. This one's called Chinatown at Night. 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. I'm not going to count it. 66. This one's embossed. Cool. That's cool. 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. Eh, eh, eh. 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. That one's got an airplane on it. 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. I didn't count a bunch of those just because if I mess up counting, then you get extras and you're, you're better off. 92, 93, 94. That one's awesome to pick a dilly. 95, 96, look at that one, 7, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, That's four, close to a donkey's ass. Five, That's a bear's ass. 6, 7, 8. That's a bear ass. Bear ass. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This one's cool. A train going through. Wow. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, World's Fair, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48 is another one of those fold open ones. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, Radio City, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 67, 68, 69, not going to count it, not going to count, not going to count, not going to count, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 2, 84, 3, one's cool lackey's drugstore 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 that one's cool too 21 22 23 I'm not gonna count it 24 25 26 27 28 29 this one's really cool Pelham Park in the Bronx, 29, 1938, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 6, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 6, 57, 58. 8, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 
64, uh, 66, 67, 68, or 268 so far. Ooh, baseball ones. 268. Pee Wee Reese. 269, 270, 271, 272, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, whole car, 78, 79, Nancy, if it was my 80, son, I would say 81, bring me food when you 82, come visit. 83, 84. 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, not going to count it, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 300. So we've got Jeffrey so at 300 for a bed. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, that one says John Lennon on it, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So we're going to say 350, and I'm just not going to count the rest of these. 350. <laughs> Joe, I can't count after 11. My fingers run out. I run out of fingers and toes. So 350. There's actually about 365 or 370, but 350 gotcha. sounds better. Nancy at 350. Awesome. I haven't seen Pam in a while. Pamela. Pamela. She might be taking the dogs out or she might have fell asleep. <laughs> and 375 and Nancy. She goes out and plows her driveway and shovels out the yard and makes a racetrack for her dogs. Wow. No, thank you. Oh, her dogs are her babies. Yeah, no, thank you. I'm not going to do that for my own baby babies. <laughs> We're 385 with Jeffrey Stevens. Here. Just because you guys are being fun. I just added these. Here's another 40 or so cards. Nancy's at three ninety five. Because I can make the, make him all fit in the tray. So we're at four or five with Jeffrey Stevens. Four twenty with Nancy. <laughs> puff, puff, pass. Oh, in no way is it personal, Jeffrey. She loves to do this with anybody who will do it with her. Oh, yep. Yeah. She buys a lot of postcards. And then sometimes she just doesn't even bid. For a smoke break. <laughs> okay, so we got Nancy in at 420. 
Oh, she said, no, it's not personal. I am earning money. Her 2% cash back on her credit cards. Right? That's actually really a great idea for anybody who's new in this business. If you can buy stuff and use PayPal and use your credit cards to pay, if you have a 0% APR and you get 2% back, make sure that you use your credit card to pay. And then, and then what? Then pay, pay your it. credit card off Yep, each you just month. pay it off at the end of, yep, just pay it off each month because then you get 2% of everything you're paying. So, you know, on a $400 lot, you get eight bucks. Well, yeah, and poor Kyle spending a thousand dollars and well, a thousand ten, right? <laughs> yep. It's just a trick, you know. I can't really say a whole lot because I don't do it because I personally do not have. I have one very low credit card, and then I, obviously everything else that I spend is cash. Right. Or you know, obviously PayPal offers me loans all the time. But when I don't need them, I don't take them. Okay. So let's lift the box of postcards out of the spot where it's at. Move it out of the way. Now, I have not even opened this box. Ooh. Okay, guys. Wasn't ready to sell these, but I'm going to anyway. What is it? What is it? Um, it's from the photo, the photo stuff, but when you see, you'll understand. But, um, I said I haven't looked at any of this, so. But like here is either a daguerreotype or an embryotype. Oh, in wow. Gold frame. 1840s, 1850s. That looks like the lids to the other box things. Remember that shut? The booklets that had the lids on it? Oh, yeah. So usually these come with a, a lid casing. Oh, okay. Rear types. So these are really, really early. Daguerreotypes are real rare. This one's awesome. Look, it's even got a conclaved bubbled glass. Wow. I don't know if this one is a tin type. Or... But it is the original frame, it looks like. Cause... Watch right there. It is a tin type, I believe. We've got Scotty in at 55. Nancy at 60. Oh, it is not a tin type. This is a glass. It's in here taking it apart. There we go. It's on glass. I believe that's the glass ones are embryo types. I think the daguerreotypes have like a shiny shape to them. So there's those. You guys know that that's not it. Um, I just literally grabbed a little handful of stuff out of the box. The Golden Girls. Look at this. Everybody's name is in the back, so I don't know what they were all from. Lucille McCoy Bowie, Thelma Ridge Taggart, Jean Taggart. Jeffrey Good. says, no hard feelings. My smoke break readjusted my thinking. Now I'd like to thank you for saving me $400, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> the Armies and Leaders, the Photographic History of the Civil War. Huh, let's look. Let's see what you're getting. Uh, oh, Grant. Thomas Allison. Yeah. 18, or 1911. So index. I'm not sure why the pages are out of this. Meaning loss of warfare. So, I don't know. Maybe these are, maybe they were using this for. See, maybe they were using this to identify some of the people. Like for genealogy research. Yeah. I said, I, I have no clue, but it's in the box. It goes. 
This is an awesome large, you can see how big my hands are compared to the photo. Oh my gosh, look how many children compared to the women. Andrew Neil Anderson holding child on right side of photo, Miss Anderson on his left. But holy moly, they didn't have TV back then, so this is what happens. Yeah, now, it's probably they probably were like a daycare or an at home schooling thing. Look at this little boy's hat. I think it's a little boy. <laughs> I'm like, um, maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. John. Yep. Look, look, look. John T. Kenball. Kenball. Look at the hat. It is a little boy. I love no pants and stocking legs. Hey, you guys can see me right now? No, I meant the baby. Oh. <laughs> oh. Another large photo. Jamie Zumwalt, some Simon City, I don't know, Florida maybe? 1908. Look, they even wrote Edith M. Mary. I lost your sound again. Yep. It's muted on StreamYard. There you go. It's unmuted on StreamYard. Now reset the Bluetooth. Yeah, it's weird that it keeps dropping my Bluetooth. Then I've got Nancy Ann at 111. Can you hear me now? Yeah, but your mic isn't as great as it There you go. Is that better? That should be better. Yep, that's better. Ben Cox of Terra Hot from Terre something Hoe. another. Terra Hot, Indiana. Oh, okay. Yeah, somewhere there's a hoe. <laughs> Here's a bunch of strapping young men and women. Probably college or university or something. Hillsboro, Colorado. High school, 1894. So very cool. Yes, Nancy, you should. What oh, should I Nancy like do? that one. This one? She said, yeah, I like that one. She said, should I film the opening of the shipment that I just got here on YouTube? Sure. Always. This one's split, but it's definitely a school. And film listing at all? Summerside, Ohio. Look, I'm still adding to this lot. <laughs> Told you I just grab stuff out of the box. Maybe Hi, obtained at any time. Mention letter and all numbers as shown when ordering from F and R Lazarius and Company. Alice Elizabeth died of TB died of tuberculosis. Uncle Rich, Uncle Ed, Grandma. So that one's got lots of people's names on the back. That's cool. Here is a print of yacht. 1904, Lamar and Barton. Attendance and on time plan junior departments hi bit at the Sunday school Nancy at 111 and then here is another photo of a bunch of stripping young men and wow look at all the writing in the back this is the property of 
Morgan Atkin. And this has everybody's names and where they were at in the pictures. 880 yard, I don't know. So maybe these guys were part of like the track team or something. And then down here, it has more information about them. Gift to Highland Park something. So probably in sports. And that's what you get in this lot. Only because the bidding stopped. The bidding wouldn't have stopped. It might have might have added a few more things, but Scotty is out. Look at this one. This one's really rare. It's a blue wow. tone photo. And then I'll add one more in there just for good measure. So big sky in at 121. Question of how many photos again? Uh, I don't know. One, two, three, not going to count that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, and then the book, the Civil War book, but not going to count that. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Got Nancy at 160. So I'll add two more pieces just to make it an even 20. Two random things out of the box here. Throw those in, not count those. This is number 19. And this one also has information on the back of who everybody is. And here is number 20. This one's stupendous. Like, I love, 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 love this photo. This is 1881. Marshall Tuttle is in here. The name sounds familiar. And if you look, look at this photo. All of the girls have bonnets. And if you notice her, she must have moved during the exposure. You see oh, how wow. she has two faces. And yep. then look at the little boys. They're wearing their father's like Civil War outfits. See how he's got on a Confederate soldier hat. And, this and out of nowhere has... comes Kathy Bauer at 200. And straw hats these are awesome and there is like more of the confederate hats this photo is fantastic and all the identification going around the entire thing this is so cool yeah this is an awesome photo too hi kathy bauer you missed it we did a lot of photos today a lot of photos oh she got our electric back on oh your electric was off hon she might be in Texas. Oh no! Her, that, they're they're having a lot of a lot of electric problem. Yeah, a lot of rolling outages and stuff. So we have Nancy in at two twenty five. Well, we're just glad you're okay. That's all that really matters at the end of the day. Oh my goodness! Bless her heart. Three days. Wow. It's 250 with Kathy Bauer. Nancy, I think Nancy you I think I think Nancy meant 275. 275. Yeah, we're good. That's fine. She cracks me up when she goes, "Oops." <laughs> Yeah, Hill County, Texas. Well, we're just glad you're okay, Kathy. Now you can get some heat. <laughs> K 
Kathy's in at 300. Oh my goodness, she still doesn't have water now. Oh no. Half a boom for Nancy. She's at 350. Half a boom. So 350, 375 with Kathy. So 375 with Kathy. Looking for 385 or better. 385 with Nancy. We have 400 with Kathy. Yeah, it's, it snowed late last night into this morning. Here we got another like foot on top of our 30 some inches from last week or a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Jeffrey said, Kathy, didn't Nancy knock your water out? She's she'll do anything to win a bid. <laughs> and if you guys didn't know, Midwest Picker, Dave did a video where he opened a box from us. Hey, Noel. Okay, so we got Kathy. Oh, Nancy and said she thinks. Hold on, Jenny, before you sell it, because she says out, I think. And then Cal oh, Carla said no friends at the auction. <laughs> There's more footies come more, more photos coming, don't worry. Did you say footies? Footies, yeah. I may actually have pants on, but I'm not wearing any <laughs> socks or shoes. Oh, Noelle said she got her poster the other day, and she loves it. Oh, that's awesome, Noelle. I'm glad you got it. Glad the post office didn't absorb it. And we're sold to Kathy Bauer for 400 Congratulations. Congratulations, Kathy. This is an awesome one. I really love that photo on top, and then the daguerreotype and the ambryotype up there. Okay, CNA wants me to let Nancy know that they're interested in the Syracuse, New York postcard. Nancy, if you want to get with them and figure something out. Oh, okay. Yeah. There might be a bunch of Syracuse, New York postcards in that in the postcard Nancy, stuff. Nancy just put her email in there. Okay. So like I said, I have a whole box full of photo esque type stuff here that I haven't looked at, but, was on that palette of photo stuff. Here's an old oval photo, and there's information on the lady. Here's a guy in a chair, and it looks like here's information on him. Like somebody already did a bunch of the work. So I'm going to leave that information on these guys. It, Probably save some of you time. If if the information is correct, I don't know that for sure, but 
sort Virginia. Norman Gable, Gabler. I don't know if that's a unibrow or. Looks like glasses almost. See by the nose and the little chain? It does chain? look like glasses because I see the chain. Yep, glasses. This little family. Daisy Reynolds Brown. Obviously, it's written up here too. He's wearing glasses. And there's a bunch of information right on the back, 1914. I can read the date. Nancy's in for 50. Okay. I'm just grabbing out of the box. I'm showing you as I look at it. So I want to see it too. It's a big cabinet photo. Mary Ann Bertrow, age six. picture of that woman just like turning around and smacking him with the glove. Don't touch me like that while we're taking a picture. Yep. That's how I feel whenever Pam grabs my butt. Another cabinet photo. I am not counting. Um, I'll do a count at the end. These are a lot of larger cabinet photos. Kind of like the CDV is just four times the size. Okay. This one got an awesome Art Deco frame. It's a silver gelatin image. Here's his information. That's Oscar Manning. That just looks like a ghost head floating. <laughs> <laughs> this one's really neat with like the bicycle in the background and stuff. Mm -hmm. Twins, maybe? I don't know. Possibly. A family in front of their tiny house. It's a tiny house nation. Yep. Leo and Lewis. Minnie and Charlie. Leo and Lewis. And this one is very similar. It's just in better condition. That one's the same. Aww. She's cute. Look she doesn't at look happy, hair. but she's, she's cute. It's a baby. Oh, my. Uh, wait, there's more. I'm going to include this. This is one of those papers that has a lot of the names of the people, the photographers. But I don't know if it goes to these or not, but whoever wins it, you get that paper with it just in case you're doing genealogy and stuff. It's a cradle roll promotion certificate. This is from 1934. It's really cute. Look at these. Another cradle roll certificate. Copyrighted by Stowe and France or something like that. 1949. I don't know what a cradle roll certificate is, but here's another one, 1930. They're all being presented by the church. Oh, okay. Northwood Baptist Church, Evangelical Church. Okay. It's been entered as a role, as a member in the cradle roll. 
Okay. I don't know what cradle roll is, but they all have said that a church. And then here's three photos in a frame. Um, put that over there because it's heavy in the glass. Let's take it out of the glass before we sell that one. High bid is Nancy at 125. This lot definitely has more in it than the last lot. Scotty wants to know what is on the back of the three photo frame. Yeah, good question. Uh, the names of whoever it was Alice Bear Armacrost, 1921. Anthony Clayton, Cincinnati, Ohio. Mayor Avenue. So the people's names and where they lived. That kind of looks like Teddy Roosevelt. It's Josh Graham. Oh, this is an awesome photo. Yeah. The hat and that outfit. Now, that's what you call a lingerie a photo night. back in the day. Oh, a boudoir photo. Yeah. This is that Daisy Duck. Look, this is what? hilarious. Daisy Duck. <laughs> <laughs> or Daisy Douche, either one, but either one you want to go with, right? Nancy says she it's is, a can can girl. That is it's awesome. And I can't say she's super pretty, but the outfit's awesome. Yeah. Okay. More information. You muted yourself again. Cradle roll is a way to keep track of the babies in the church. For example, those in the nursery. You have to unmute yourself on StreamYard again. Got, there you go. Big Sky Flipper at 160. Okay. Nancy at 175. It's another great photo. A lot of and kids. Took, and here's a daguerreotype. It's on a glass plate. You can see it's done with like silver. Oh, that's cool. They're usually in a frame, but this one was not. Let's see. Yeah. The way the process is. So this is a daguerreotype, and it's a large one. Normally they're smaller. Kathy at 200, Nancy at 250. Okay, and then whatever's on this here, in this little stack, and that'll be this lot. So somebody did some ancestry report on Lamal Clyde Jordan, and these were attached to it. So I'm going to re put these with it just in case they go to it. Look at that hair. She's adorable. This guy's got like a military uniform on. Or a police uniform. No, military. What is the blue on her the ribbon for? Or her? I don't know. Not sure. Weird. I 
And that's a real photo postcard. And here's home of successful farming publishing company, Des Moines, Iowa. And that's what you get in the slot. Okay, we've got Kathy at 425, then we've got Nancy at 450. So since we're down to Kathy and Nancy, Janine's going to say sold whenever one of them drops out. Absolutely. And then we'll do a postcard lot next. And then I still have more photos if you guys want to keep going for a little bit. So we have Nancy in at 450. Out to Nancy. Kathy's out. So we're going to be sold to Nancy. Okay. 450 to Nancy. Now, the problem we're going to run into here is I'm out of trays. So I'm going to put stuff down on the table, and then I have a couple bags I can put stuff into. Let's do an awesome postcard lot. So start and bid $10. And in this postcard lot, I'm going to show you guys some – There's there's a couple, like, photo postcards, real photo postcards that are phenomenal. So starting bid 10 bucks and you'll get everything that's in my hands. One, two, three, four, five. And they date from, I think 1898 was the earliest one I've seen so far up to 1960s. So what number is that? Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Not going to count those two because they're newer. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This one's really cool. Sixteen, nineteen twenty-seven, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, this one's embossed, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, Humpty. 34, that was 35, yesterday. It's every day. Oh, there's another Syracuse one. 35, yep, this one's cool. 35, it opens up so you can have. Oh, cool. Yeah, most of these packet ones have like a bunch of them. 35. Nancy's enjoying the camel's ass. 36, 37, <laughs> 38, 39, 40, 41. This one's cool. 42, 43, 44. Look at this old post office. Oh, wow. 45, and it's a train station also. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, real photo postcard. 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, the Guggenheim, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, that one's awesome, 53, largest crowd at the races, so it's horse racing, 74, 
77. Oh, that's awesome, too. 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. Get this one. This is really cool. 90, 91. 92, 93, these have like silver glitter on them, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, One, two, I just three, dropped T's four, link five, six. Awesome. in the chat because we're going to be doing a live with Brian and T sometime this weekend. Everybody want to make sure you sub the T so you don't miss out on any. Yep, but auctions for you. So it's 106, and then there's some, these are real photo postcards, but there's really some awesome ones in here. So Fountain Terrace, Christian Science. So this was like an original Christian Science Center. So there's a lot of collectors of Christian Science stuff. Oh, wow. But then look, look at this one. This is probably my favorite postcard I've seen so far. So this is the flashlight photo of Sacred Dance of the Apache Indians only photo made of this dance copyrighted ebates is there a date on that at all no but it is 1920s or older got scotty in at 200 so that one's awesome i love that photo and then this photo is amazing los angeles ostrich farm oh wow and the guy's driving around an ostrich on a cart. Frank, Real I'm not sure card. if T's home yet. I've been on here for a little bit. Um, she, nobody's told she is me not. she is. Not. Yeah, she's okay, not. Thank yet. you. Tunnel tree. Oh, Sequoia. Yep. Yeah. Real photo That's postcard. Cool. Yeah, there's some awesome photos in here. Real photo postcard. That one's got rust stain. These are all real photo postcards. Hi, Richard. It's very cute. Those little bonnets are killing me. Look at the faces. Mm. This kid, this kid's holding a stick. Like, okay, you guys, better do what I tell you. <laughs> So you're probably looking at like three hundred. Probably looking around one hundred and what one hundred and twenty five ish postcards. The last group is all these real photo ones. That is not a picture of me, just so everybody knows. <laughs> Long Beach, California, real photo postcard of George Washington School. At one time, I had a couple of real photo postcards, like maybe, you know, eight or 10 years ago. And I put them on eBay. And it was just messing around. Like, I had no clue. They were of Yosemite National Park, right? Right. And and in the, like, the next day, I woke up, and they were at $600. I'm like, you know, for, like, eight photos. I'm like, what the heck? And and some guy's like, are these marked anywhere? And I was like, so I'm looking at them with a magnifying glass. They were original Ansel Adams real photo postcards. Oh my goodness! They sold, they sold for like nine grand or something like that. But I no clue at the know. time when you put it up. No, I bought them at an auction in a tray lot for twenty bucks. Oh wow! I just thought they were neat. But Got like Scotty I said, four hundred. My favorite too is the ostrich farm one. Yeah, which is awesome, and. This one is just stupendous. Flashlight photo of the sacred dance of, and I can't read that next word. And then it says Apache Indians, only photo made of this dance, copyrighted, e -bates.
Nancy's so that, that's out. That's pretty awesome. And we're going to be scold, sold, <laughs> scold, sold to Scotty for 400 Postcard money. Kim, do we have any more trays or anything that I can put some stuff into? That was Scotty, right? That was Scotty. You need to tell her you need some cookie sheets or something. <laughs> yeah. And that's the postcards. Four hundred. Congrats, Scotty. Okay. Scotty gets a box. Right here. Or actually, honey, here, do this. Kim. She walked away from me. She, she left me. Get back here. Woman, get back in here. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. That was all. That was all, Tammy. She said. She said it. She said not tell you that. She said yeah. Like a firm hand on the backside. <laughs> I didn't say all that. <laughs> Here, honey. We can do it a lot easier. Just look through the stack of postcards over there, and all of Nancy Newell's. We can put them in this box, and then that'll empty up four or five trays. So we ship all her stuff together anyway. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, loving wife. Brian, thank you, loving wife. Is, oh, I'm supposed to say thank you, loving wife. She said, what makes you think I love him? <laughs> <laughs> Pam says she doesn't like you. <laughs> Pam's back. <laughs> Pam shows back up just in time to give me grief. Quiet. Yep. That makes her day. And she can't be around me. I told you she don't like you, Pam says. <laughs> Pam said, told you that she doesn't like you. Okay, so photos or postcards, guys? Photos or postcards? We'll do photos or postcards. And we do, again, thank everybody for being here. It's much appreciated. Uh, sorry I didn't bring home more other stuff to sell. I did all the comics early on. Okay, so photos since Scotty spent 400 he said. Okay, let's do some more photos. Okay, I'm just going to grab a stack. Bye, I'm Harry. Show it to you guys. Harry Humstone. Okay, so it's going to be whatever's in this stack is what you're going to be bidding on. And we're going to start at $10. And it's obviously a lot. And then there's some bigger ones and some awesome, like, multi- Picture ones, and then there's going to be some more daguerreotypes, and then there's even some on metal, like some on silver. Or embryotypes, and then the daguerreotypes. So this is a full, elongated panoramic photo. That is cool. It is. Very neat. We have a $100 opening bid. Okay. This one says, school, 1921, room three. Oh, Harry's not leaving. He thought you were leaving, so he was saying later, but he's going to stay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm here. This is another panoramic image of a band or an orchestra. That's a huge orchestra or band. Bakersfield, yeah. California. Or Rex, yeah. Um, See if I can read what it says. 
Honor Orchestra. Okay. But please, honey, please. I suppose you know these. Hmm. Another photo. So what's that? Three, four, five, six. We'll see if we can keep count. Seven. This one's a huge photo. Graduation class of Kelly School, January 20, uh, 1929, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Nancy does have. It's okay. It's enough. Are you sure? Yeah, would you do make me two trays? Nancy has a photo lot. Okay, so she has a photo lot too. It'll be in that stack. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lots she has. So this is an awesome photo. Four, five, wait. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh, wow. Scotty just said flashlight photo, sacred dance of Geronimo Apache Indians. Only other example is in a museum of the Great Plains. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations, Scotty. Look, I want you guys to buy stuff and make a ton of money off of it because I don't want to research it. Like That's just, you know. My goal is for you guys to make a ton of money. I hope that's a $10,000 postcard for you. And Pam said, be nice. She won't feed you. Pam's feeding me or Kim's feeding me? I think Kim. Oh, okay. I'm always nice to Kim. Okay. So this is all the people that are in this photo. So that's what, like, number nine. Here's number 10, and then I'll show you guys something really exciting. Yes. So this is on metal, right? So you guys can see it's metal. So look, there's the image. The people, it's hard to see them, but this is, there you go. There you go, stop right there. There you go. So I, I can't remember which one's a Daguerreo and which one's an Ambryo. But mm -hmm. one's on glass and one's on metal. Both are really good, but so very cool. And then in the gold gilt frame, this one is probably the same. It's either so a stereotype type or an embryo type. If they're in those frames, does that mean they are richer? Usually, yeah. People these that were these in were. Them? And these were older, like the, the okay. CDV photos came out after these. These are 1830s, 1840s, 1850s, 1860s era. Okay. And then you get into more photo on board type stuff. This guy kind of looks like the Wolfman or Dracula. <laughs> but this is either an Ambryotype or another Daguerreotype. This is really awesome. It's in really great condition too. So you get three of those. Another photo. And for anybody else who's out there watching, if you want to participate in the auctions, just send me a registration to mrbyslot795 at gmail.com and send your YouTube name, your real name, your PayPal email address that we would send invoices to and your mailing address. This allows us to give you a wrench, allow you to bid, and then we invoice once a week for everything that you buy in all three days, another real photo postcard. No, Janine, I don't at the, at the moment. What's she need? Can She's asking, if I know of any auctions that are going to be on later this evening. Is tonight, pirate? I don't know. I 
think she's an opera singer. Um, Miss Lux. That looks like a young Jackie Coogan. A little girl riding the, the hobby horse, a little boy riding the hobby horse with his sister. negative of something. The Do only I... thing that I see for later is reseller university with Victoria. Oh, this is an awesome photo. So this is somebody's ranch or like a farm. Yep, that's good, honey. Thank you. Ready at work, ready to work. So I don't know if he's a priest because of the white collar or. This one's got an awesome like gold framing on it. The parcel in Brooklyn, 1889. Off topic, yeah, awesome. you decide if you were going to wholesale lots of the comic books. Um. As of this moment, I'm probably going to, but okay. it'll be, you know, I'll probably be doing like $125 for, you know, who knows, 50 books or something like that shipped. Something right. along those lines. And it'll just be whatever I grab. So you may get a box of modern age, but it is all superhero-ish and, and good titles. Or you may wind up with, if I open a box of Silver Age, you may get a whole lot of 50 Silver Age books. Um, someone else said I should mix the lots up just to make it a mix of everything, but I don't know if I have time to do that. So this one's got a lot of information on the back of it. And here's the last one in this lot. So you get the three daguerreotype embryotypes, you get all the big stuff underneath, and then a whole bunch of other photos. And our high bid right now is Nancy at 150. Need to know if Shesha's in or if she's out. Okay, and I'm gonna do a quick count while you guys are bidding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not going to count the negative, but the negatives do so. We'll say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and then the group photo, 29, move these three over, 30, a really large one, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, the daguerreotype or embryotype, 38, 39, and sometimes these frames are actually made out of real rolled gold, 39, I don't know if these are or not, but sometimes you get lucky, 40, so 40 pieces in this lot.
And we're sold to Nancy for one fifty. Wow, nice buy, Nancy. I think that was an awesome buy. Should be able to get that out of the one to Gary type. Nancy. She said, I think so too. Bargain. Okay, so I'm going to throw postcards in. We'll do another postcard lot. Okay, I have Colleen Reed. I previously registered. Hang on, Colleen. Let me check for you. R E I D. Chris Grable, if you're here, make a comment. Okay, Colleen Reed, you are good to go. And I thought Chris Grable already had a wrench. He might. I just saw his name on the, oh, okay. the thing. But so if you see him, just let me know he's here. Okay, I will. Okay, so let's let's make it a big lot, guys. Hopefully big we got a lot of postcards. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna make it a big lot. Gonna do a finale. Finale sale. So you guys just start bidding and have faith that I'm going to make it worthwhile. Because I know we've lost a bunch of our bidders. So you're probably looking at 400 postcards. So let's see what happens on bids, and then we'll go from there. So Fab Yeti finds is in at 100. And there's a lag because I'm watching it on my computer and I haven't even seen the postcards go down on the tray yet. Okay, so we're at Absolutely. 155 with Adam. Okay. 200 from Scotty. And as you guys bid, the more your bid goes, the more postcards I'm going to put on this lot. This might be another lot kind of like the end of yesterday. And I'm going to call it huge postcard lot. And on my email, I called it huge ass lot. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for 210 now. Oh, we got Nikki at 250. And to say that there's at least, you know, I'm going to show them, I'm going to count them out for you, but I'm just trying to show you on the cart, on the tray, there's at least three or 400 pieces. And there's going to be some other ob obscure paper stuff in here that I'm not even going to count, but you're going to get it with it. So one, some labels, these are labels, old ones. Two, look at this one. Three, oh, cool. this is one of those, yeah, this is a fold out pack. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. I'm not going to count those. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 3, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 56, 
57, 58, that one's really awesome, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, that's a train station, that's cool, 65, 66, 67, 68, the height and shoe factory, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 78, 78 not going to count that one. 79, 80, 81, 82. I'm not going to count these. 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. That one's awesome too with all the old cars. 90, 91, 92, 93. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So there's 100. Here's one of the fold out books with a bunch in it. So that was 100. So there's at least 300 that we know of. And if we hit $500, I'm going to put whatever else is in this box in this lot. So hopefully we still have a Nancy and we still have uh, everybody else. Who was interested because if I can finish this whole box off, if we hit $500, I'll put everything that's in this box into it. Not just this box. I'm talking the box behind me. I've got Scotty at 400 Okay. So there's 11, 12, 13, 14, now we're going to end up a bunch of old ones, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, don't count that, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, Shusha 39, said 500, break out the box. 40, 41, 42, okay. 43, 44, 45, 6, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, I'm not going to count it, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 92, 93, 94, 95, that one's embossed, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200. So we're at 200 there, guys. You could be looking at a thousand postcards again. So you're 200 up there, and then this is what's left in the box. Holy shit. So, told you. Are we going to count all crazy. those? <laughs> I don't know if we're actually going to count them all, but okay. I'm just going to say that there was 200 there. Look at this one, it's awesome. <laughs> Are these? 
1905 checks. Wow. Janine said you counted all of them yesterday? Yeah. We have Shusha at 500. It does, Dale. Paint does dry slowly. There's 300, over 300 in that lot. So that means that's about 400. We'll say 500, 600. So there's about 750 cards, if not a little more. So that's what you get in this lot. This is a huge lot. And I could be off by, you know, 100. It could be more. So this is the biggest lot of the day. And you're probably looking at 700 plus postcards. There could be 900 postcards. Who knows? So we have, just went out. Fine. we have... Shusha at 500. Do we have anybody else who's in, or are we going to call it down the Shusha? Okay, so this is it. And I saw Nancy was back, so I'm not waiting on her. And Scotty's out. Scotty's out, okay. There's more real photo Kathy postcards Bowers mixed in here. Okay, Kathy Bauer just came in at 250. Kathy, we're at 500. This she is an old trade card. Oh, 550. Okay. This is an old trade card. Like I said, there's over 700 cards. And I could be way off, and it could be like 900 cards. That one's really cool, too. 1907. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Group photo. Shusha's at 600. while they're bidding. I'm just kind of flipping through so they see what they're bidding on. Kathy's at 625. That one's signed. That one's like an artist drawing one. I think those ones that were that the one. pencil sketches were cool. Yeah, I, I like the ones with the old cars and the old buildings and like businesses. 
Yeah. Or the hand tinted ones, the ones that are colored by hand. Yeah. This one's awesome. Young Men's Christian Association in New Bedford, Mass. 1906. Boats. I can fill a couple embossed ones in the back here. That one's cool with the waves. Yeah. And the sunsets. This one's really pretty, too. Mm-hmm. That's really like Plymouth Mass. And you get into, look at this one. Look at the writing on this. Oh, Greetings wow. from Harvard. So it was probably a student at Harvard University in 1900. Wow. So that's what you're getting, and then, you know, more real photo postcards, some more train, buildings, businesses, 1950s and 60s cars, train, obviously I'm not showing everything. So Lake Winnipeg something. Winnipeg Saki. Kathy's six fifty. Beautiful night light. <laughs> the old woman in the shoe, size of the shoe, 144. Wow. Rickshaw. And obviously, you probably only really seen a half, maybe three quarters of this lot. Oh, I like this the steamboat too. That. Yeah, the paddle wheeler is awesome. Yep. Such so is out. Okay. And this ends this box of postcards are all done. Okay, it looks like we're going to be calling it to Kathy for six fifty. Okay. Sold, sold, sold. And that will conclude our auction for the day, guys. I do appreciate everybody who did come. If you can hit that thumbs up on your way out, it is much appreciated. And thank you all for being here. And make sure you guys stop in and see T um, tomorrow. Or on Saturday and Sunday this week, T and I are going to sell. Um, since she's back from, you know, the hospital and feeling a little bit better, I told her, you know, not to do anything tomorrow. Hopefully, she won't do anything tomorrow, and she'll get some rest and relaxation. And then we'll we'll do some auctioning this weekend for a few hours each day, just to, you know, kind of make up her income for what she's missed this week being in the hospital. So again, guys, we appreciate you very much. You are the reason that we as creators do what we do. And without you, there is no us. Get it? The letter U. I'm very clever. Yeah, I got I it. Nancy, <laughs> Told you would bad like, Nancy would like a Hercules, Hercules. Okay. You guys get the last one of the day. Yep. He's so strong. He's my little Hercules. Hercules, 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 Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you everyone for being here we will see you this weekend look on auctions for you for when we're going to be doing auctions so again thank you everybody have a great day thank you mama g thank you janine you guys are amazing and much appreciated thanks Brian. love you everybody have a good Bye. day make sure you hit that thumbs up <laughs>